Hello everyone, Lily here and I'm back with more C rares. Just my voice for today, but I'm intending on doing this more often. I'll do the webcam and stuff then. But there's two games up for today. MSI Evo GT versus Arrow for the Dota Talk Open Cup Grand Final at Best of 5 and Orange versus ADM for the D2M League. So first game first, Arrow versus MSI. For those who didn't catch the game last night versus MSI and Zero Latitude, MSI definitely put on a show with their hero picks and playstyle. Game 1, they grabbed up the VS, Visage, and Witch Doctor Trilane, went for a level 1 Roshan, and were hitting on the tier 3s by 8 minutes. They had the racks by 17. Zero Latitude couldn't stop, and MSI's play was near flawless. Game 2 showed MSI's ability to farm as well, grabbing a Naga Saren carry. While Zero Latitude did some great things themselves, the Roshan steal as well as an Aegis steal by AMZ comes to mind, it was not enough to stop the sick combos coming from MSI, and the GG was called before Rax even fell. Arrow Gaming have had a really strong run themselves in the past few weeks, dropping only a single match against First Departure last night and going 1-2 against Execration a couple of weeks ago. They are showing themselves to be strong contenders for the Southeast Asia region, or at least the qualifiers for the International Four, which will be coming up very soon. However, the match against First Departure last night is rather telling, to me at least, for Arrow's strengths and weaknesses. Game 1, First Departure drafted their strongest heroes, which was a bit of a niche lineup with a Tinker offlane, and First Departure absolutely trashed Arrow. In the past, we would see Arrow grabbing a moderate 4 protect 1 lineup, a snowball mid for DDZ, and a farming split pushing carry for Lance, with a heavy emphasis on getting a lot of towers down and pushing the game early. Two of the games last night, Lance was on a semi carry, uh, Brewmaster and Doom, but he was taking a Weaver in the third game. The third game was absolutely the strongest for Arrow, and while I can appreciate their branching out to try new styles of play in a smaller tournament, MSI, though being the underdogs of this, could knock a game or two off of Arrow if they run another niche lineup, i.e. their level 1 Roshan strategy, an Arrow player strategy they aren't as strong with. However, on the whole, I do believe Arrow will pull through. MSI obviously have a lot of potential with this new lineup of theirs, but I would say Arrow are more stable, and provided Johnny drafts well, they're less likely to fall to a cheese strategy that uh, MSI could pull out. The second game is Orange vs ADN. Orange of late have not been putting their best foot forward. They've been dropping games left, right, and center against teams considered tier 2. So what does this mean? Well, a game could go either way. It's a best of one. We've seen some amazing plays from Orange in the past, but this is a best of one, so the chance of them dropping a game is pretty equal to them carrying through. ADN, depending on who plays, as they seem to use subs a lot, can be very strong. Their last official match against First Departure, and this was First Departure a couple of weeks ago with Chibi playing the carry, so it was a stronger than the one we've been seeing recently. Um, this was a 75 minute nail biting game. It was really, really close. So if we see ADN pulling their best foot forward, this could be a total stomp in their favour. Either way, it should be a nice game. I personally wouldn't bet at all, but if you're feeling up to it, I would bet on ADN given how nice the stats are for Orange so you could win a lot of rares. Either way, um, thanks for watching. Promise I'll have webcam next time for those who uh, only want to stare at my ugly mug, but I'll see you guys later. Bye!